This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this ABC 10 News update. One of the 17 year olds arrested in connection with the drive by shooting that left a 14 year old boy dead in Mount Hope is set to be in court today. Police have arrested five people in connection with that shooting. They say the latest person arrested who is also 17 is the shooter. The three adult suspects were arraigned yesterday. They pleaded not guilty. There is still no word on a possible motive for the shooting. A state audit says the San Diego County Sheriff's Department has failed to adequately prevent and respond to the deaths of people in its custody. The state auditor found from 2006 to 2020, a total of 185 people died in San Diego County jails. That is more than almost every other county in the state. The Sheriff's Department says it takes the findings of the audit seriously and is taking action to implement recommendations to increase safety for inmates. Today is National Wear Red Day, and several San Diego landmarks are showing the color off. Wear Red Day is part of the American Heart Association's effort to raise awareness about women's higher risk of cardiovascular disease. The association says losing even one woman to heart disease or stroke is one too many. The San Diego County Administrative Building, Sharp Grossmont Hospital, and the Kilroy Star in Little Italy all lit up in red last night, and again, they'll be lit up tonight. All right, let's talk to Megan Perry about this weather. Not bad, except we've got wind. That's right, and the winds will be peaking through the morning, tapering off into the afternoon and evening, and a fairly comfortable day. We'll see 60s for most of the county, a few 70s for the coasted inland neighborhoods, only in the 40s in the mountains, though, but we have a major warm-up headed our way. First, though, the winds. We do have that wind advisory extended until 2 o'clock today, and we'll see widespread gusts in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range, and then the windier spots in the 40 to 50 plus mile per hour range. Though temperatures over the weekend, a lot more 70s. By next week, some areas are going to get closer to the 80s, about 5 to 15 degrees warmer than it's been. So some spring-like weather in the days ahead. Virginia? Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, just go to 10news.com, or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.